good, y'all? I'm Anthony, aka your boy Ant, man. So listen, man, I haven't done a hurling video in a minute, so y'all be sure to check out my first hurling video. Just go to my search bar, type in hurling. You'll check that out, my first reaction to hurling ever. First time I've ever seen it. Um, but I was like, all right, cool. So it was like best goals or something. And uh, I'm like, all right, cool. So it was cool to kind of get a feel of the game. Now let me try to get some rules of the game. Let me try to understand it a little bit. So um, y'all gave me this video called The Rules of Hurling Explained. So let's check it out, man. Your boy Ant. First time checking out the rules of hurling. Um, let's see what it's about. Link for the original video will be in the description box below. Check that out. Let's get it. Ned explains the rules of hurling. Hurling is an Irish sport played with two teams of 15 players oh, each. Wow. The game is played on a field that's generally a maximum of 145 meters by 85 meters. These oh, are the goals, which are six and a half meters wide, and the crossbar, which is two and a half meters above the ground. Unlike in football, the posts extend above the crossbar just like in rugby. Hmm. The exact same goals and field dimensions are used in Gaelic hey, football. How did that... The object of the game is for your team to score more overall points than the opposing team. To score, a player must use his stick, known as a oh. hurley, to hit a ball, oh. known as a sleotar, into the goal. Sleotar. If they successfully hit the sleotar under the crossbar and into the net, this is a goal and is worth three points. If a player hits the sleotar over the crossbar, but between the posts, this is a point oh. and this scores one point. The game is played in two 30-minute halves for a combined playing time of 60 minutes. High score at the end of time wins. Any game That's that results it? in a draw must be replayed. Surely it can't be that simple. Well, it's not. There's a lot of things you can and can't do to move the ball up the field in hurling. You can move the ball by Dang, hitting the ball with a hurley out of your hands, hitting the ball with a hurley along the ground, kicking it along the ground, you kicking or lifting up the ball with your hurley and then striking it. Wow. A player can also run with the ball if he bounces or bounces Look it on that. his hurley. That is freaking a player can intense. catch the ball with his hands in the air. And a player can hand pass to a teammate where you slap the ball with an open palm. However, a player cannot touch the ball on the ground with his hands. A player cannot throw the ball or throw their hurley. Oh. A player cannot take more than four steps with the ball in hand. And a player wow. cannot play the ball from his hand to his hurley more than twice. Therefore, he's only wow. able to handle a ball twice in one possession. Wow. There are 15 members of the opposing team who are trying to take the ball away from you so that they can score themselves. Ow. They are allowed to make shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder contact so long as the opponent has possession of the ball, or, if no one has the ball, be shoulder-to-shoulder -to, -shoulder to the opponent nearest the ball. They are also allowed to use their hurley to block shots or prevent you from shooting. Games are generally high-scoring and fast-paced, but there's a few other things you'll need to understand before playing or going to a game. For example, Puck. puck. A puck is a restart in play, usually after a foul or if the ball goes out of bounds. If the ball goes out of bounds, a puck is awarded at the nearest line. Uh. If the ball is hit out of the end line by an attacker, the defending team gets a puck out at the 65 meter line. If a foul occurs, a free puck is awarded either at the spot of the foul, where the ball lands after a foul, or at the 20 meter line for fouls uh. inside the 20 meter area. Foul. If a player commits any of these infractions, Look a foul is assessed hey. and the other team is awarded possession of the hey, ball by way of a free right. puck. Just like in football, a player can also be cautioned <laughs> or sent off the pitch for serious offences. Penalty puck. If a foul was committed on a player with a legitimate chance to score, a penalty puck, similar to a penalty kick in soccer, will be given to the attacking team. The ball is placed on the ground at the 20 meter line and all other players must be 20 meters away. There is one goalkeeper and two defenders defending the goal. The player is allowed to lift the ball off the ground and shoot the ball Dang, once. They don't have no Any goal scored count towards the overall score. Substitution. A team is allowed to substitute up to five players per game. Very similar to football, the players must wait in the substitution area and players must enter or exit at the designated area only and only in a stoppage of play. To the uninitiated, hurling seems like a strange sport to understand. But once you understand the rules, it becomes a great sport to watch. If you have found this video at all helpful, please like, share with your friends, comment and subscribe. It uh, took me ages to make one of these things, and good comment is very much helpful. appreciated. If you're also on Reddit, you can post this video and discuss it there. Well, um, <laughs> I'll say this. So, there was a lot explained in four minutes in that day video. Um... It went very fast, so in order to really, I, I would have to watch this video probably every day for the next three months just to, just to get some stuff. Like, I, it was a lot, and then I didn't even get a chance to see all the different things that were fouls. Um, yeah, that was a lot. So, 
you know, it was cool to watch. You know what I'm saying? I got a, I got a better feel of the game. I got to understand a couple things. I mean, I got to understand a lot, but I don't remember all the stuff he said. It was just too much. So I would have to watch this a lot. Uh, but with that being said, now I know where this video is at, so I can check it out anytime I watch some hurling stuff. I want to see more, but uh, hey, and I rely on you guys too, man. Y'all be helping a brother out and understand the game even more than this video did. So thank you, thank you, and thank you. Uh, but this was cool, man. Hey, it is what it is. Let's let's let's, let's see how it go. You know, moving forward with hurling. But anyway, you guys, be sure to go ahead and uh, leave a comment or something you react to next. Uh, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get in some more hurling videos. So if you have any more, go ahead and leave it in the comment section if you want to see it. I'll react to it. If you don't want to see it, brother ain't gonna do it. And I'm out. Peace.